We're going to switch it up a little bit, cool it down. It's James Conn again on the bike and we're down here on the lower west side. I'm going to pop in and take a look at Joe Bradley mouth and foot paintings. Well, I'll just pan across the uh, front gallery and office space here. I was just talking to Jules de Bellancourt and we were saying we kind of like the ruggedness of these pieces. Oh, that's funky. run down and look at the drawings. Well, I think the first time I saw Joe's work was at the uh, Whitney Biennial a couple of years ago. I actually got uh, caught trying to video some of his work. I like this piece. It's like the big black lips with the blue tongue. Well, all of these pieces are titled Mouth and Foot. And uh, it looks like he's using a drop cloth here. And I know that uh, Joe is a friend of Chris Martin's and uh, Chris has been painting on drop cloths for years. I think the other thing that's kind of uh, impressive about this show is that uh, Joe is really using an abstract expression of scale. These are huge. Uh -oh. All right, it's our little director here. And uh, oh, this piece is titled Strut. And it's 110 by 130 inches. There's a grittiness that I appreciate. This makes me think of some of the kind of rugged neo-expressionism that people were doing back in the early 80s. This one is all duck. And I wonder if that refers to the use of cotton duck. I was talking about mouth and foot paintings. And if you look at these this thing's probably walked around on these. I don't know, maybe he bought used drop cloths and made the paintings on them. But I love the patina. You know, there's a kind of uh, rugged authenticity that I pick up from this kind of uncontrolled grunginess. This is titled Pig Pen 2. This is mouth and foot cock and balls. Oh. Funky, rusty stuff and styrofoam dust. Well, this scale definitely puts me in mind of uh, maybe some of the shows I've seen with Schnabel and Early Basquiat, even Chris Martin has gotten into the large-scale stuff. Oh, there's Gavin Brown. And these are probably the kind of people you want to talk to at openings. Oh, this is a beautiful piece. And I would say that this has got to be at least 12 feet high. This, this definitely recalls the good old classic abstract expressionism the scale of Clifford Stills and some of the big Pollocks. And uh, I think it's interesting. It's almost a uh, revival of uh, abstract expressionism. It's titled Ichthyus, 
which I guess means fish in Greek, something like that. Someone who was commenting on the smell of the oil paint. This piece is titled Bust. And the first pieces I saw by Joe, he was actually kind of constructing figures with these blocks of canvas, straight color. You know, he was really kind of a, a minimalist, but this new work is uh, getting back to the uh, gritty and grimy oil paint. So this is James Com reporting on Joe Bradley's mouth and foot paintings here at Gavin Brown. Well, we're down here at Canada and we're going to take a look at another exhibition by Joe Bradley. Uh, this opened about a week after the show at Gavin Brown and in many ways it's a total contrast to the work that was shown there. The show is titled The Human Forms and as of this point I was just talking to Phil Greer that haven't got titles on these pieces. Uh, these are large figurative pieces and they are silk screens and it's kind of an echo of um, Warhol and some of his silk screens in this work as well. But they really do have a, a classic, almost uh, archaic sense of monumentality to them. They also have kind of a minimalist sensibility which is where I think a lot of Joe's aesthetics are uh, based. Well, we'll take a look around the back gallery and see what they've got going here. Oh, there's Amy Hill and Kim Kiever. <laughs> I was talking to Brian Bielot, and although I was informed that he wasn't a totally reliable source, he said that uh, there were actually two subjects in this show, and one of them are the bathers, and the other ones are the dancers. Silk screens were actually based on some fairly small drawings, and they were blown up to this large scale. I kind of like the diptych because it almost has a sense of a uh, archaic okay, grease boss or maybe something you would see in the tomb of the pharaohs. I like the way that this pairing of figures with similar poses makes you look at each one of the figures a little closer just to check out the differences. Each one of these is probably about eight feet tall. His edges are nice. Well, this one is larger. This is probably six by nine feet. So this has been Joe Bradley's human form, which is quite an incredible contrast to his mouth and feet painting at Gavin Brown's. And this is here at Canada. 
Thanks, Kate. Do you really want to live forever? Forever? Forever?